Hello guys and welcome to the Ultimate OBS Microphone Recording Guide where you will learn how to set up your microphone in the best way possible in OBS Studio. So to start you go to reaper.fm and we are going to grab the plugins which are free here from the download section. So click on the REA plugins down here and click on the 64-bit version here. Save the file to disk and run the installation. Click I agree, leave everything at default, click next, and click install. I will cancel mine because it's already installed here. Next, you want to bring up OBS Studio. And you click here on the settings, you go to the advanced audio properties, and you check the smaller checkbox here. Otherwise, you will only have the sound coming out of your left speaker, but you want to have it through both of your speakers. So check the smaller checkbox here. And close. Next, click here on the settings again. Go to filters. And now I'm going to demo what this sounds out like without any without any filters here. And here you have the room untreated. There is uh, I just switched room in in our place, and I have not got up any acoustic treatment yet. So this is why I'm making this video. To really show you the point that even if you are, have a really bad room where you can hear the keyboard your mouse clicks and moving stuff on the table and everything you need to add some filters and these filters will make your recording sound professional even if you have an untreated room so first up you want to add the limiter so click on the plus icon here click on the limiter and add it up here it will come up here and what this does is that if you're live streaming and screaming this will not always shoot, you know, you will not hear the sound clipping and be unpleasant for your listeners ears. So next up, we're going to add the noise suppression. So click the plus icon, click noise suppression. Now listen what happens. A lot quieter, a lot better. And by default, it's going to be the RN noise, I think. If it's set on speed checks, make sure you use the RN noise because it's a lot better. Next, you click on the plus icon and add the noise gate. And what this does is that it will only let sound through uh, if you have a certain sound level. So if I'm typing the keys now, you can hear them in the background. But if I only type in the keys, it's silent because you need a certain threshold of the sound for the microphone recording to kick in. You have to find your threshold. So if I move the slider down, my sound will start to crack. So testing one, two, three, test. So if I bring this back now, around here somewhere see 40 50 minus 50 is good for me all right next we want to add the eq so click the plus icon click vst2 plug in here type in eq or whatever you want to name it select the plugin here and choose rea eq here in the middle and click open plugin interface and this is what it looks like now i'm going to remove this because mine is already in the list And we will enable the EQ. Now, all I'm doing here in the EQ is removing the lower rumble, the lower frequencies here. So I've set mine to 105 Hertz and you can play around with the settings to see what fits you best. But I just want to remove the rumble in the room here. So I'm barely changing anything in the voice, as you can see, just this uh, small reflections that come down here. So I'm going to close this. Next, we have the JS transient controller. To add this, you click the plus icon. You click the VST plugin and you type in transient controller. And you select the plugin here and it, you can find it under the REAJS. You click open plugin interface. You click load. You go here to loser. Now don't ask me why they named that that, but they did. And you click the transient controller. And there you have it. So I would remove this as well. Now, this is a transient controller, and to show you what, re what this really does, I'm going to remove some effects so you clearly can hear what's happening here. We can re remove the noise suppression and the EQ, and we can bring up the plugin interface here. Now, if I move the slider up, you can hear it's adding more and more room here to sustain here in the room. And if I bring it down, the sound is going to be more and more dry, 
and if you put it on minus 100 percent the voice is going to be affected and it's going to sound really really dry so we bring this back up i'm going to put mine around minus i think minus 34 there it's going to be good and then i'm going to enable the other plugins again the noise suppression and the eq and you can hear everything here sounding where did that interface go yeah you have to click a few times sometimes a bit buggy but it works so this is how you set up your microphone for the best recording even even though i have this untreated room with all the room echo and stuff going on it's uh, not nice so finally i have the compressor as well so we can bring everything back up so you can hear the difference again and all i'm doing is just putting some more output gain to be more around here around this level here as i'm speaking trying to be here close to this uh line right here okay and uh, this is how you do it so i hope you learned something from this and hope it's, this is going to help you in your recordings as well so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye